Hi, Harper's Bazaar, I am Ben Barnes and this is everything I eat in a day. The first thing I do when I wake up, I normally have this water bottle above my bed. So normally when I wake up, I kind of flail around in the dark for this water bottle and do a little sip like that. I had a prop, I'm so excited I had a prop. The fanciest thing about me is that I recently discovered I really like macadamia nut milk. I know everyone's into all these different alternative milks. Somebody recently introduced me to macadamia nut milk and it's delicious. So in the morning, the first thing that I will make with my little Nespresso machine will be a coffee with a little bit of foamed macadamia nut milk. And sometimes if I'm feeling extra fancy, a little uh, teaspoon of honey in there. After that, I'm only allowed one coffee a day. After that, it will be PG tips with milk tea all day long until bedtime and then I sometimes have like a sleepy time tea. So probably four or five hot drinks in the day. Sometimes the coffee makes me feel less hungry but I do always eat something in the mornings. I think I have three types of days. I sort of grew up not being allowed a lot of sugary cereal so I really like cereal. I'll make myself like scrambled eggs using my granddad's recipe of putting the milk in right at the last second. But that's a secret, so don't tell anyone. And the third option, which I got into recently, is finding like high protein pancakes, which I'll make and then I'll like chop banana, a little bit of maple syrup. It's probably my favorite breakfast. If I do have a full English breakfast, which is occasionally I will have some bacon or a pork sausage, and then you need eggs and you need Heinz baked beans, some mushrooms, toast, and also, for some reason, I can never have toast without having like raspberry jam. I'm not a fan of like black pudding or any of the really disgusting bits. Is this too much detail? <laughs> I don't eat red meat, I don't eat beef. I was making some music and somebody was sending me a whole bunch of videos of cows, how much they love music and about how if you play music, they'll come over to you from the other side of the field and they'll lay their head in your lap. And I was like, oh, I can't try to make a record and eating beef at the same time. For some reason it's stuck. It's been a good few years now since I've had any real beef, but also I think that the impossible burgers are really good. So I don't feel like I'm missing out on too much. And that's it for breakfast, for lunch. I've been on a quest the last few years of trying to cook a bit more but it tends to be breakfast and dinner lunch i have a few favorite like wrap places like chicken wraps and things like that which i'm a big fan of but actually i order in like just microwavable meals for lunch because i can sort of forget lunch sometimes if i'm busy or focused in the day and that makes it really easy for me so to order like a healthy microwavable meal for lunch which is often like a bit of chicken or fish with some veg i've been through four or five of those different companies that make those kinds of meals i found one that i like now well when you're filming it's a bit easier because when you're on set you usually have a couple of options I really like when you go somewhere and the menu isn't too extensive. Like Cheesecake Factory is a nightmare for me. There's too much, too much choice. I learned the hard way the first few years of my career that you can't eat too heavy on a lunch on set because you might have to do like some kind of action scene or even something emotional. You just don't want to do it feeling really full and sleepy because they're long days. So usually I try to be quite healthy on set. And inevitably with craft service on set, you're like nibbling on bits of chocolate and whatever to keep your energy up near the end of the day. So actual lunch time I try to be a bit healthy. For a snack, I'm not a sweet eater, I don't eat like candy. Weirdly where I snack will be, which is probably the worst time, is after dinner. If I like watch TV or something before I go to sleep, crunchy protein mini cookies or like puffed, you know, chips, or it will be like crisps. I feel powerless to the crisp. I think I have a bit of a bad habit of snacking while I watch TV because I always think I'm in the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> what have I brought over a lot of Jaffa cakes? It's like a soft sponge with an orange jelly and dark chocolate on the top. That's a really good British snack, the Jaffa cake. And sort of dippable dark chocolate digestives as well that you dip in your tea. That's a very British snack as well. Sometimes if I go home and I see my folks, my mum will slip chocolate digestives or Jaffa cakes into my suitcase and I'll be a little surprised when I get home, which is very sweet. Then for dinner, I've been making much more an effort to be cooking more and actually recently got into like cooking with friends, like just making that a thing, have a couple of friends over and like making something together. I used to be really proud of my chili, you know, messing with the the recipe with you know bits of honey or maple syrup or jalapenos and kind of different spices and coffee grains even like I think they could be much better if I just put a bit more commitment there are people that will laugh for this in my life but I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a seven it's out of a hundred a seven out of a hundred <laughs> no no I'm a 
I like to try to cook something on a Sunday or a Monday that might last me a few days because I prefer eating to cooking. Out of the two, I'll take eating. I love takeout, but I usually get things that I wouldn't cook like sushi or something like that. I think I was also raised thinking of like ordering in or going out to a restaurant even as like something that was kind of a treat or a reward for something. So I still kind of see it as something a little bit special like that, but I do love it. Going out to a restaurant with, you know, a few friends is my favorite social thing to do. I don't know if I really have go-tos. When I was growing up, I ate a lot of like pasta, but I don't do that so much anymore because you realize if you eat that every day, you're not gonna be in great shape, especially like late at night. If I'm stuck, it'll be chicken and veg or chicken and salad when it comes to a drink. I don't tend to drink alcohol at home. When I moved into my house, it had like a little white wine fridge. I exchanged it for a little like tin cans fridge. I'm always on a quest to find like different flavored fizzy waters or diet sodas that I haven't heard of before. I enjoy kind of having like special drinks in the house and for dessert. There are some things in life every few months I get it stuck in my head that I need it. I'll think about it every day until I do it. So I have to concede and usually that's like an apple pie with custard or something like that. Once something gets fixed in my head, it can really burrow deep in there and not leave me alone until I submit when I'm hangry. Yeah, probably pizza, pizza. That's the thing that I have to make sure I don't eat as, as often as, as I would like to. But I think sometimes when you've just given in emotionally, that's what you give in to. Pizza is a basic human right. I don't know what to tell you. And that is everything that I eat in a day. Thanks for having me, Harper's Bazaar. Check out Shadow and Bone season two, now on Netflix.